So, good morning. Have you ever had a stress test that the doctor gives you? I've never had one of those. I understand what they do is put you on a treadmill and try to kill you to see what your heart can endure. But my guess is just about all of us are going through a stress test these days in a very different kind, even a more difficult kind, the kind you can't get off the treadmill. It just seems like every day is much like every other day. So the question is, how is the condition of your heart? How are you handling the stress test that life is bringing to us? You know, the Bible talks so much about the heart being the seat of all that we are. Everything centers out of the heart. And so, you know, one of the ways I find it's a healthy heart is to simply have a heart of gratitude. Not saying it comes easy every day, but every day at the end of the day, more than usual, I found myself thinking, well, what do I have to be grateful for? My health, my life, my family, my church, but especially that it's all centered in the gifts that God has given me and that God is a part of all this. So, you know, there's um, interesting, the Bible again and again refers, it makes reference to the heart and the condition of it. Listen to a couple of these verses. A verse that means so much to me, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a simple, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. So, you know, sometimes I hear people saying these days, I just don't know if my heart can take much more of this. And the point is, your heart probably can't take care of more of this. But it's not just your heart that's beating inside of you. It's the heart of God that beats in you and beats for you. So you don't have to do it all your own. Your own heart doesn't have to be enough. You know, sometimes as a pastor, I say, I just don't have a big enough heart for the huge family of over a thousand members. But it's not my heart, it's God's heart, because you are God's people. You know, this is not the first time that we've been through this kind of thing in our history. Augustine of Hippo, who was the Bishop of North Africa, way back in the fourth century, he says something that's been quoted through the centuries. He said, our hearts are restless until they find rest in thee. How's your heart? Is there a restlessness? Is there an anxiety? Is there a, just a wondering if you can hardly endure all this? Is there just a restlessness that COVID-19 is prompting? First of all, if it's so, well, we're not in the same boat, all of us, but we're all in the same storm. And so we all are navigating these uncharted waters together. Let your heart be touched by the heart of others. Let your heart be touched by the heart of God. But if it's restless, ultimately, as spiritual beings, our only hope is to find rest in God, this God of the storms, this God of peace, this God who overcomes. So if your heart is restless, let it find rest in thee. Yeah, every time I do a baby dedication, a parent-child dedication in church, if there's one verse I always share, if none others, it's that wonderful verse in Proverbs. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. It's not just because I want that over a baby who isn't going to make that kind of decision, but it's that as we dedicate this baby, that's what I'm hoping more than anything will be the journey of their life. That they will know as adults, as youth, as senior adults, all the places of life's journey. That they can trust in the Lord with all their heart and lean not into their own understanding. The older I get, there's a lot of things I don't understand. I don't understand all the ways that this disease is just running rampant through our world and why it must be. But at the end of the day, I trust. Trust in what I don't understand. Trust in what doesn't make sense to me. Trust in what I don't like. But I trust ultimately in God. 
our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Trust in the Lord today with all your heart and see if that restless heart doesn't find its better rest in God. So my prayer for you is to have a heart full of God, a heart that will pass the stress test that we're all in these days.